Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. I know I said I wouldn't do any videos until June, but I'm gradually working up my courage, and besides, I can't let this one go. Now, here's the here's something that's been picked up by the tabloids, and you'll understand in a couple of minutes why I'm doing this. An unknown and deadly new disease called, dubbed Disease X has been added to the list of potential global epidemics that could potentially kill millions. Each year, scientists with the World Health Organization create a list of the most likely diseases to break out into a worldwide pandemic. And keep in mind I'm in no I'm no fan of UN organizations. But anyway, this year among the favorite familiar Ebola, SARS, and Zika viruses is the new name of Disease X. Um, like other pathogens, it's not known what causes the Disease X, or doctors, or how doctors could try to treat it. Scared yet? Researchers said that they've added Disease X to the threat list to recognize the fact that the next deadly pandemic could be started by an illness that has not caused any problems before. Okay, so far this is moderately factual, although... Here's what it actually says. Disease X represents the knowledge the serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently unknown to cause. Norwegian scientist and WHO advisor John Arne Rotten can so the next outbreak will be something we have not seen before. It may seem strange to be adding an X, but the point here is to make sure we pre prepare and plan flexibly in terms of vaccines and diagnostic tests. You with me so far? So, we'll take a look at the WHO site. Okay, uh, this is called List of Blueprint Priority Diseases. WHO was actually partially responsible for this because they put it on here, and of course the tabloids pick it up and make it sound like there's, it's a real disease. Disease X represents the knowledge that a serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently unknown to cause human disease, and so the R&D blueprint explicitly seeks to enable cross Cutting R&D preparedness that is also relevant for an unknown disease X as far as possible. The point here is there is no formal disease X. What they're saying is stuff that we've known for years is that some bug could come from out of nowhere, you know, out of a jungle, it's being cleared or something like that, tra transmitted from monkeys and then spread through the human populations and decimate them. That's what they're saying. This is nothing new. This is absolutely nothing new. The tabloids pick it up and make it sound like there's this big rampaging disease. There isn't. It doesn't exist. There is no disease acts per se. There's no pathogen that causes it. There's nothing. It's a fictional scenario. It's a fictional science fiction scenario. There's a little redundancy there. It's a science fiction scenario right now. That's all it is. Do keep in mind that it is a possibility. It's always a possibility a new disease can pop up. 
and that they're being factual. But I just want to get this video out here in case people are starting to panic. There's nothing to panic over. Same old diseases that have been out there for ages are out there. And yes, they do kill people. There is no disease X per se. That's all. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This shouldn't get me content strike. Thanks for watching.